Welcome to another Maker March video project. Today we're going to show you how to make two versions of an art bot, one using a motor and one using an electric toothbrush. We're going to get started. To make the advanced art bot, you need a cup, a popsicle stick, four markers, an exacto knife, a cork, electrical tape, a hot glue gun, a battery pack, which is running about four volts, and a DC motor. So the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna connect the motor to the battery pack. Um, it doesn't matter which order you do the wires in, because if you do it the opposite way, it'll turn either clockwise or counterclockwise, and just by switching the wires. So what I'm gonna do is actually wrap this wire around the lead, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of electrical tape to secure it. So I'm just going to put enough on here to make sure that it won't slip off during use and that it has a good connection. So it doesn't have to be pretty, it's going to be hidden inside the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the tape first. And I'm going to do the same thing, wrap the lead around the wire. And then tape it real quick. Let's take two. Go ahead and wrap it. Now we are going to confirm that it is working by turning on the battery pack. And if it works, it'll rotate. And it does. So next step. So we're going to take the cup and we're going to poke a hole right in the center. I'm actually going to use the exact knife very carefully and try to make a little gouge. There we go. And I'm going to make an X. Make sure that you get a parent's help with this part of the project. So I actually want to make a hole so that the top part of the DC motor will run free because you don't want it to get caught then the motor won't run. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have a good hole. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and dab some hot glue on either side and make sure that you do not get any hot glue on this part, which is called the shaft. So I'm just going to quickly glue, add some drops. And I'm going to quickly push it into my cup. So I've carefully taped the battery pack in and made sure that the switch was accessible. So now that that's in, I can start with making an actual unbalanced motor. So I will use the popsicle stick and gently push it on. I've already drilled a hole that's the same size as the shaft. I will push that on, make sure that it's not touching the top of the cup. So you want it to be able to move freely. I'm then going to take the cork and glue it to one end. So what all a vibrating motor is, like on your toothbrush is, or on your phone, is a motor that is unbalanced. So basically you're just adding weight to one side so that it'll wiggle. So now I have that, and I'm going to add my markers. To do that, I'm going to get a nice big long piece of tape. I'm going to go ahead and make those the legs of my cup. So this cup has these really nice spots where I can put the legs easily. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to line it up. So make sure that the marker is actually over. And this seems to be so I can line it up with the top of my cup. Your cup might be different. But remember to leave your lids on as long as you can. So I'm going to start with the first one. 
try to make sure you're centering it because these are your legs of your art box. We'll move to the next one. We will add another layer of tape just to help stabilize everything out because you may have a situation where it just doesn't want to line up nice. Go ahead and there it goes. I'm going to add the last marker and I'm going to add one more layer of tape towards the top of the markers. So that's layer one. Hold everybody in. Try and get it as straight as you can. I'm actually going to just do each marker. So by doing this method, it helps straighten the markers out and it should keep them straight because you're giving it more support right here. That's all the part the pressure will be on. Then just for a final touch, I'm going to add some googly eyes. So I'm just going to hot glue those to the back, to the very top of the cup. And now our art bot has personality. So I can go ahead and uncap these lids to reveal the marker tips. Go ahead and turn it on. And it should work. So today I'm going to show you an alternate version of an art bot using supplies that you can find at a dollar store or a home store like Home Depot or Menards. So here's what you need to get started. Um, you're going to need some kind of foam insulation. This is for, um, I think this is pipe insulation. Uh, you could also use a pool noodle if it's the right season to find pool noodles. You're going to need some kind of tape. Uh, this is electrical tape. Um, this is nice because it, it adheres well to the foam, but it also allows you to move your markers around if needed. Uh, a pair of scissors. You are also going to need an electric toothbrush. And this is a toothbrush that I found at a dollar store. So um, you can get them pretty cheap. Uh, you don't really need a, an expensive a toothbrush for this project. The one thing you do want to do though is find a toothbrush that has an on off switch on the bottom not on the side. Um, so to get started you want to take your uh, insulation, your pool noodle, whatever it is you're using and you want to slip your toothbrush into the center. You want to make sure that you can still access the on off switch on the bottom. So I'm using three markers for this project and I've adhered them uh, with the electrical tape. I've made sure that they're level because I want um, the art bot to rotate. Uh, so they are level, they're lining up with the bottom of the foam insulation. Um, and it should, hopefully, turn and create a wonderful art project. Now, if you would like, you can also decorate something like this. Uh, you can use googly eyes, you can use pipe cleaners, feathers, whatever you have. Um, it's nice because with the foam you can stick stuff into that so you can decorate it and make it a fun little project.
Thank you for watching our art thought video. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to see other more fun Maker March projects, you can go to foundell.org, Maker March. Thank you for watching.